Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Marco and today we're diving into an essential aspect of vehicle maintenance, load and inflation. Whether you're an off-road enthusiast or just looking to understand more about your vehicle's tires, this video is for you. So grab your notepads and let's get started. First things first, let's clear up the confusion between load index and load range. The load index is a numerical code representing maximum capacity with higher numbers indicating greater capacity. Load range, usually associated with LT tires, uses letter codes like C, D, or E to denote inflation pressure and ply rating. Both specifications are crucial for selecting tires that meet a vehicle's weight, requirements, and usage. Consult vehicle manufacturing recommendation and tire charts for accurate selection. So what exactly is a load index and how can it help you determine the optimal air pressure for your tires? The load index is a numerical code assigned to each tire, indicating the maximum load capacity it can handle. This index is typically found on the sidewall of your tire, and it's essential to know when determining the right air pressure. The load index is linked to a load capacity in pounds or kilograms, providing valuable information about the tire's strength and durability. Load index tables are available from tire manufacturers and provide recommended air pressure values based on your tire's load index. Here's a simple step-by-step -step guide. Start by locating the load index on your tire's sidewall. It's usually a number followed by a letter. The load index can range from 70 to 126 or even higher. Refer to the load index table. Once you've identified the load index, refer to the load index table provided by your tire manufacturer. This table will have corresponding recommended air pressure values for different load indexes. Find your tire's load index in the table and note the recommended air pressure. This pressure ensures that your tire can carry its maximum load capacity safely. For example, if your tire has a load index of 90, you'd refer to the load index table and find the corresponded recommended air pressure. It's as simple as matching the load index to the pressure value. And there you have it, folks. Using a load index table is a straightforward yet crucial step in maintaining your vehicle safety and performance. It's important to note that the load index and load range work together to convey the tire's overall load carrying capabilities. When selecting tires for a vehicle, it's crucial to consider both specifications to ensure they meet the weight requirements of the vehicle and its intended use. The vehicle manufacturer's recommendations as well as load index and load range charts provided by tire companies should be consulted to ensure the proper tire selection for a specific vehicle and application. By understanding load index, load range, and proper inflation, you're not just taking care of your tires. You're investing in your safety, your wallet, and a smoother ride. Remember, knowledge is power, and when it comes to tires, it's also peace of mind. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tire tips and content. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next vid.